Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at solving equations using functions so we can answer questions from exercise 2b. So hopefully this is a familiar um, type of question and what we're going to look at later on is how we deal with split functions um, using these sorts of techniques. So given that g of x is equal to 2x squared plus 3, find g of 3, so that means substituting 3 into this function here, so substitute 3 in as your x value and we get 21. The other way round would be find the values of a such that when we substitute in a we get 35 out as our output value. So what we'll have to do then is we'll have to set up an equation with a's in it and set that equation equal to 35. We're going to use a being substituted into this 2x squared plus 3 equation and we'll set it equal to 35. Uh, subtract 3, divide by 2, and square root, and it's positive and negative 4. Okay, don't forget that you'll have two solutions to this type of question here. Okay, so let's have a look at a split function type question. Now, in this question here, we've got 5 minus 2x is the equation of our line for x is less than 1, and when x has got to 1 and it's now greater than it, the function is going to be x squared plus 3. So sketch the function and state its range and then solve an equation. So a classic functions question, this one. So sketching the graphs. So what we need to do now is we need to effectively split this graph in two. For the top part, we're going to work out all of the y coordinates for this graph here when x is less than 1. And we'll go right up to 1, but we'll just put a circle when we get to 1. So um, do all of the points. I'd put a circle here that's empty, and then connect up all the points there. Then once you've got to 1, you're now going to use a different equation to work out the y-coordinates, and that is x squared plus 3. So in this case here, start at 1, 1 squared is 1, plus 3 is 4, and then substitute in all your x values going onwards from there. It's going to look like the x squared plus 3 graph, but just part of it. Okay, And what you would do here is, if it were me, is I would put a circle at 1, but this time I would fill it in, and that's signalling to the um, reader or to the examiner that 1 is going to be this value here and not this value here. It just means it's going to get ever so close to this value here on the left-hand side. But once it's hit 1, it actually jumps up to 4. Now, what would the range for this function be? Well, it'd be all the set of y-coordinates. So it would be effectively this group of numbers here. It won't include 3 exactly um, because we're not going to be using the value of um, the value of 1 at 1, we're going to be using it with this function here. So it's going to go up to, but not equal to 3. So this is our range. Um, x equals 1 is not included, therefore f of x is greater than 3, not including 3. Okay, so the next question now is a more tricky one. Find the values of a such that f of a equals 19. Well, 19 is going to be somewhere up here. So what is the possible output values for this value 19 up here? And there are probably going to be two. One for this red graph and one for this blue graph. So we're going to have to solve two equations to get the two answers that we need here. So solving separately, this linear intersection point with 19 is going to be at when x is minus 7. And for the x squared graph, we're going to get plus minus 4. But hold on, with this x squared graph here, it's only when x is bigger than 1, not when x is negative 4. Because when x is negative 4, it doesn't belong to this equation here, it belongs to this equation here. So what you would do is you'd only take the x equals 4 solution from this question here. So in terms of solving equations over a split function, imagine where it would um, intersect, which graph will it intersect, and then just make sure your answers make sense according to the question. 
Okay, your turn to have a go at one of these questions very similar to it. Uh, have a go at this question six here from exercise 2b. Okay, well done for having a go at this question here then. So for part A, we're substituting in 3, but which equation do we substitute it into? Well, we substitute it into the top one because this is 3 is a number less than 4. So for all the numbers less than 4, we substitute it into the 4 minus x equation. So f of 3 equals 4 minus 3 equals 1. So your answer is 1. You don't substitute it into both, you only substitute it into the top one because it's a 3 which is less than 4. If we were finding f of 5, then we would only substitute it into the bottom one because 5 is a number bigger than 4. Solve the equation f of a equals 90. Well, what I'll do first, I'll just draw a quick sketch of the graphs just to make sure that um, I'm doing this right uh, and which equation I need to solve 90 with. Now, when x is 4 or bigger, um, 4 squared is going to be um, 16, add 9 is 25. So from 25 upwards, it's going to be this type of graph here with a filled-in circle on the bottom. And then for 4, 4 minus 4 is 0. So we'll have an empty circle down here with a negative gradient going down to it. So it's going to look something like this. Not to scale, but something like this. Okay, so at some point it's going to equal 90 on both of these lines here. So one intersection point here, one intersection point here. So I'm going to need to solve for both of them. 4 minus x equals 90. Add the x onto the other side, minus the 90 onto this side, minus 86 equals x. And for the second solution, x squared plus 9 equals 90. So that's going to mean that x squared is equal to 81. So x is going to equal positive or negative 9. But x can only be a positive number in this case here. So we're only going to take the x equals 9 solution. So the answers here for a are minus 86 and 9. Okay, so that's how we answer question 6 from exercise 2b. Now we've finished all the questions from exercise 2b, I think it's an opportunity for us to now take a breather and answer some questions from exercise 2b. So go ahead, turn to page 30 and try out some of these questions here now. Have a go at some of the um, questions from exercise 2b. Thanks very much for watching.